Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's tackle two decimal places. We're going to convert a decimal with two decimal places to a fraction. The best way to do that now is to look at it this way. We have two decimal places here, meaning we have two numbers here past the decimal point. To convert, what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the decimal and simply write this as 81 over 100 because this is 81 one hundredths. On this example, again, we can remove the decimal place and write it as 75 divided by 100. Now, 75 can be divided by 5 just like 100. 75 divided by 5 is 15, and 100 divided by 5 is 20. This can be written as 15 divided by 20. And again, they're both still divisible by 5. 15 divided by 5 is 3. 20 divided by 5 is 4. And so this becomes 3 fourths. In other words, 0 0.75 is the same as 3 quarters. What if we get a number like this, 1.50? No difference. If it's two decimal places, you remove the decimal and divide by 100. This becomes 150 divided by 100. Notice that both the numerator and the denominator can be divided by 10. This gives you 15 divided by 10 as an improper fraction. We can still simplify it. Both are divisible by 5. This becomes 3 and this becomes 2. So we can write this as 3 over 2 or we can write it as 1 and 1 half. Same with 4.68. We can convert that to a decimal simply by removing the decimal point and dividing by 100. This can be written as 468 divided by 100. They're even, so we can divide it by 2. This can be written as 234 divided by 50, which can be written as 117 divided by 25, simply by dividing the numerator and the denominator by 2. 23.48, again the same thing, we remove the decimal place and divide by 100. 23 point, oop, oop, remove the decimal place and divide by 100. Notice that they're both even, we can divide by 2. This will give us, well that's a little bit more difficult, isn't it? 2,348 divided by 2. Well, we can do it long division, 2,348 divided by 2. 2 goes into 2 one time, that's 2, that's 0. Top the 3, it goes into 1 time, that's 2, that gives me 1, 14, 2 goes into 14, 7 times, that goes to 0, and drop down to 8, 2 goes into 8, 4 times, and I get 0. So that becomes 1,174 divided by 50. Again, they're both divisible by 2. Now this looks like we can write this as well. Again, we go 1,174 divided by 2. 2 goes into 11, 5 times, 5 times 2 is 10, 2 goes into 17, 8 times, 8 times 2 is 16, I get 1, 2 goes into 14, 7 times, which means if I divide the numerator by 2, I get 587 divided by 25, and that's probably as simple as we can go. Let me quickly check, yes it is, I don't think we can simplify that anymore, and so 23.48 can be written as a fraction first and then simplify to 587, by divided, uh, 587 divided by 25. Notice the best thing to do is when you want to convert from a decimal to a fraction, simply look at how many decimal places you have. If it's 2, you divide by 100. If it's 1, you divide by 10. If it's 3, you divide by, thir by 1,000. We'll see how to do that in our next video. And that's how it's done.